heard a lot of different ideas on um, how clean resin bond stones need to be to work, how much it matters, and the different ways of cleaning them. So let's go over this. If, if you just want to remove the dark marks in them, um, isopropyl alcohol works really well. Uh, these Mr. Clean Magic Erasers work well. Barkeeper's Friend, Comet, Ajax, they all work well at just removing the dark spots. They don't remove any resin. Next up would be a Nagura Stone and the final super clean heavy duty is with an, a loose abrasive on a flat plate. So this, let's see, let's take this one. This one, there we go. Just rubbing alcohol. Keep it in front of the camera, it might help. There's that. Let's see, let's do what's this? A 650. Let's use the um, Mr. Clean Rust Magic Eraser. And these work a little better. And finally, the Nagura Stone. And with these, these work the same way as with, um, you want to develop that loose abrasive mud in between the stones and then just work it around. This one's a little bit on the fine side. It'll tell you how flat your stones are too. This will remove just a little bit of resin. Not enough that you can measure anything, even with a ten thousandths micrometer. You want this mud to be between them, so don't be rinsing it off in the process. And you want to soak your Nagura stone well, otherwise it'll just dry out while you're doing this. That'd be good enough for me. Here's what the knife bevel looks like after each stage of cleaning the stone. And as you can see, there's really no, very little difference between old and black and nice and cleaned after dressing it. Um, other than the scratch patterns, since they don't really look much different, what I look at is the burr formation, which really doesn't look like it changed at all. So moral of the story here is even if the stone's filthy looking, it's not a problem. It really doesn't affect how the stone works.